How exciting. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Imagine the following scenario. You are sitting at the hospital or in the ER, waiting anxiously for medical diagnosis and treatment. In the vast majority of the cases, you will be sent for a medical imaging scan, such as CT or MRI. And you'd obviously expect it to be interpreted quickly and accurately by the doctor. You'd expect that regardless of how tired and overloaded he or she is. And maybe you would also hope to receive that in an empathetic and patient manner. But as we all know, in real public hospitals, the chances of receiving such efficient treatment are not that high. Sure, we are all well aware of the huge workload and lack of medical doctors in most of the hospitals. But there is more into that. Let's have a look at the three main steps of medical imaging. These are data collection in the scanner, data processing, and interpretation. Each of these steps requires time. So the big question is, the key question is, what can be done to shorten this time? My laboratory, AGU Com Lab, at the University of Haifa, was established exactly in order to address these important issues. My name is Shira Rotman, and I'm a senior lecturer at Faculty of Social Welfare and Healthcare Sciences at the Department of Medical Imaging Sciences. My research focuses on computer vision and machine learning techniques in order to automatically interpret medical images. We design artificial intelligence algorithms in order to collect data, process, and interpret it, and medical images in an accurate, fast, and reliable manner. But that is all news, right? We hear AI as a buzzword all the time and it is so much in use, not to say overuse. But when our health is at stake, do we trust it? I would say that most of us know. Even though the accuracy of AI system has been widely demonstrated in many and different and diverse domains, many recent studies show that it still suffer from a severe lack of reliability. For example, if you simply change your MRI scanner from one to the other, the output at your AI system may be completely different and wrong for the same patient, for the same day, with the same technician. This is the challenge of reliability. When you design AI system, you must do it very carefully you must do it wisely in order for it to be stable and valid for different inputs under different conditions. If you'd go today to Rambam Healthcare Center, you will discover that the few AI machines that are located there and are supposed to assist radiologists are nearly always shut down. The major reason for that is their lack of reliability under different clinical settings or for different scanners. And this is exactly the goal of my lab, to design AI systems that will be both accurate and reliable. This is an emerging research field in computer science and mathematics that is considered today to be pivotal in order to obtain sustainable and reliable AI systems. Only in this manner we will be able to bridge the existing gap between theory and practice and to integrate solutions of AI systems into daily clinical use. Now two main questions arise. Do the patients want such systems to replace human doctors? Well, I'd say not. Most of us would prefer a human, experienced person to be by their side in their critical moments. That is why our goal is not to replace medical doctors, but to assist them with such sophisticated systems. The second question is, are the medical doctors interested of having such systems by their sides? Well, the answer is yes. 
And this is why our lab is planned to be located at the Rambam Healthcare Campus. We will work there, engineers next to radiologists and medical doctors, in order to bring and design real solutions to real clinical challenges. Thank you so much for listening.